What's up guys? I'm Nate with Wichita Homeworks and we are out here in Mount Hope at uh, our custom home build and I don't know if you all remember still but uh, I'll flip you around here. We used to have a house standing that was built back in the 1900s and we added on to that and then we demolished the house and built new. So I'm going to give you a walk around here. There's quite a bit of things that have happened since then. Uh, it's a little bit noisy, but we'll see what we can do. So most of the framing is complete. And we've got the roofers uh, getting a roof on. Still waiting on a couple windows to get in. Got the house wrap on. We got temporary supports here on the front porch for the overhang. Those will be replaced with uh, the more decorative supports. Nice covered porch on the front. Gonna be lots of uh, nice room here on this covered porch. So. Got the egress window from the basement. And then on the back side here, we also have a just a little area that's covered by the porch. And then once we're all finished, we're going to backfill this and pour a nice big patio out here. So I'll take you in here through the back door. So this is going to be the living room space. We're marking out the fireplace here. And we're going to be framing that in. Then we're going to have kitchen and an island back there. A nice walk-in pantry. And then this will be uh, somewhat of a mud room passing between uh, the garage space so once we're all finished here we'll move all the plumbing and we'll get the uh, concrete floor filled in all the way and we've got laundry back here so one thing we did here nowadays uh, Refrigerators are getting so large that they stick out so far into the room. So what we've done is we've actually turned the uh, studs so they're flat uh, to give us about an inch and a half to two inches of added depth uh, for that refrigerator. So once we get the cabinets in on each side of that, uh, then we can recess that, that uh, refrigerator all the way back into that space. So then off of the kitchen, we've got a hallway into uh, what's going to be the hall bath in here. Uh, this is going to be, we're going to have some uh, linen storage right up against this wall. And then a nice uh, larger opening into the master bedroom. Got a couple bedrooms here. Then we're gonna have a Jack and Jill bathroom here. So from both of these ba uh, bedrooms, you'll be able to access the bathroom here. And then a walk-in closet off of that. Now in this closet, in order to have the right headroom for the staircase, we had to build the uh, floor up but it still gives a nice space to have for we can put some shelves we can still do a closet rod 
and there's still space here that can be used for storage. So even though it's raised up, it's not wasted and it's not too terrible deep that you could still reach back in here. So then through the master, nice big window out front. You're gonna walk into the master bath. You'll have a walk-in closet on each side. So we're gonna have a his and her bathroom vanity on each side. You got your water closet here. And then we're gonna have a built-in uh, linen closet here, as well as a walk-in shower. So this will all be shower space. We won't need a door. It's gonna be a nice big space. So if you remember on the outside, we've got that uh, egress window from the basement. And in order to have the right room for a legal egress window, we actually had to bring the header to run across there up into uh, the first floor here. And then what we did is we took uh, the engineered straps and it's holding up the two floor trusses that we have running through here. So uh, plenty of support for everything. but it, we were able to still make that window work down there. So there's always different options for everything we come across. All right, so uh, once we get framing, the roof uh, all finished up and we get the windows in, uh, things should be what we consider dried in, meaning that they're weather tight and secured. So then we can move to the mechanical, electrical, plumbing. And then uh, once we get all that taken care of, we'll move into insulation and then drywall. And things will start really looking like a house after that. So uh, this has been a really unique project for us from the start. And uh, we appreciate you guys following along with us. So if you guys come across any projects, uh, and you're looking to get an estimate on it, we'd be more than happy to talk with you and see what we can do to make it happen. So I hope you all have a good week, and we will see you next week.